Hey guys, it's your girl back with another video. Sitting out here on the deck at the the summer house up north and everything. It's beautiful out here, y'all. Peace and quiet. I oh my phone. But it's kind of windy too, so I'll be having to watch it because the phone will fall. I didn't bring my tripod. Um but I just wanted to say, you know, thanks to all my supporters, my Ocean Beauties, my Kings, my Queens, um, to all my people. Just thank y'all. Um, my, like I said, my number's been going up, y'all. But y'all, this is like this is the story I just really came on here to tell y'all. Check this out. Y'all ever get one of them calls where, uh, or, or get one of them uh, friend requests? where the guy with the name about long is the block um is is trying to get in contact with you or whatever and um when you don't answer the phone they send you a text baby hello i love you you love me how the hell you love me I, who is this <laughs> i'd be like who is this and they, you can't pronounce the names. And they always get the same story. If you talk to them, they're going to give you the same story. They originally be from one uh, one place, but they're in this country. They're a doctor, a surgeon, or it's always some shit like that. Okay, so why is you texting me if you got all this going on? And um, be like, they tell a quick lie. Like, God put you in my life and... God ain't put me in your life, man. And you probably done texted like nine other First of all, I don't do long distance. I don't do long distance relationships. No, none of that. That's first of all. Second of all, these niggas trying to get a green card. I ain't the one to get you no green card. You better find you somebody else because I ain't go, I, it ain't me. It just ain't me, and I'm not finna play no games. And so, next time, hopefully, soon as I get a call, I'm gonna I'm let y'all listen to the call and watch and see how stupid these motherfuckers talk. And, th and thank you, supposed to be stupid with them. Like, I just came along, uh, uh, life just came along since you called me. I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that's done got one of them calls. I'm sure I'm not the only one. You ladies know what I'm talking about. You men, because the women be doing it to the men. So I'm sure I'm not the only one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I just thought about that. I was sitting out on the deck, and um, I received a call like that. And, and I'm thinking it's somebody else. So I answer, he talking to me like he been knowing me for your whole life. Who is you? Talking about, um, baby, um, I just want to get to know you better. And, and they don't waste no motherfucking time. They don't waste no damn time. They be at you. And you better not, don't even answer the phone. Because if you answer the text or anything, if you say hello or anything, that's it. That's the door open for whatever they think gonna happen. And from then on, they calling you. I done blocked so many of them. It don't make no sense. I get sick of that. That's nerve wracking. Dude, go somewhere and get you a job and buy your own motherfucking green card. Cause I don't got time for that. Or apply for it or whatever the hell they do to get them. But you ain't gonna get down through me. I promise you I ain't the one for that. It just tripped me out y'all. And it's more and more every day. It's more and more. And then they wonder why I smoke. Because they got all this bullshit going on. All this nonsense going on. Just a bunch of mess. Just mess. Everybody trying to run a scam. Everybody trying to, to fuck over somebody. Well, just for the record, I ain't with the scams. I can smell them motherfuckers coming a mile away. Especially when it comes to that money. I'm not with no scam. So don't call me with no damn scam. Try to think you're going to pull no scam on me. 
Because I'll cuss you out and tell you what to go do with your scam. Yeah, I will. It's, it's tripped out. It's just tripped out. It's already a shortage in men as it is. Women out here trying to find husbands. They ain't out here on that garbage. Well, some of them ain't. Us, us older queens, we looking for somebody that's seasoned, that's settled. Ain't nobody looking for no deep. Nigga, you playing the game with me today and making a reason, an excuse to go be with her tomorrow and you driving her car but you at my house and 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 all of us, it's like seven of us that you playing with, all of us got babies so all of them feel like they locked in because they got a baby bite. Girls, get y'all life together. You know what? Life is too hard and too short and when the shit hit the fan, that nigga gonna hit the dough. I promise you, most of them will. Now, you got some good kings out here. I'm not mail bashing. You got some good kings out here. I'm telling you, you got some good kings. God blessed her with some good kings. Some that stand up and be men and do what they supposed to do. And they don't give a damn what people think about them. Or, uh, none of that. They don't care about it getting out of hand. Or none of that. They gonna do what they supposed to do as kings. We just gotta take our time and find them, girl. Because it, it, it's hard. It's like picking a needle, literally, out, they say, picking a needle out of a haystack. And you might got some men feel that way about women. Okay, well, then I'm sorry. I can't speak up on that. I can only speak up on what I feel and what I believe. And I just think it's so unfair, you know, that people won't even allow themselves to communicate. They don't get in relationships nowadays. To my understanding, is blip, blam, thank you, ma'am. And they on to the next one. Next thing you know, you got two or three of them pregnant by the same young man. Ain't nobody mad at his ass, though. But they mad at each other. But they, know, they, they don't even know each other. Only heard them by name or wind up however they hook up. But y'all mad at each other. Y'all not mad at him? What the fuck? is going on this nigga can get caught in a bed with a female what's the first thing we do we run for the woman we run for the woman now I can see different if the woman knows y'all was in a relationship and just being messy but most of the time them women don't know and these niggas they stand back and look and, and and no 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 cuz they like that shit they like they like to feel special oh they fighting over me and and and, and then I going to add another one to the to the bunch y'all stop being stupid stop being stupid stop letting people bring you down from where god has placed you when god bless you with something all the time your blessings ain't for everybody your blessings is for you you earned that blessing everybody else didn't earn that yet that's why they don't have it but us being women we got hearts of gold most of us when we love we love hard we love these niggas to the point i'm telling you that can't nobody tell us nothing about and some of us can know in our heart that this nigga ain't right we can know it but we just can't let go because we're scared somebody else going to get them. Well, you could go and have them. Because if that's what I got to go through, I'll be lonely in a corner with an ice cream cone combing my doll's hair. That's what I'll be doing. It ain't going to happen, y'all. Y'all need to chill out with that. Y'all need to stand up and be women and quit being thoughts and whores and all that. Because that, y'all get mad if somebody call y'all that. But that's what y'all putting y'all stuff out their ass. I ain't saying you got to dress up like a nun, or, but y'all be walking down the street, y'all ass be out and all of that. That's not cute. That is not cute. So I'm just saying, have respect for yourself if you want somebody else to have respect for you. You got to first have respect for yourself, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Peace out. Love y'all with all my heart and soul. Love y'all.